In this video, I figure we'll go and take a quick inside look at teardown of this Longweed TVT322 AC RMS dual pointer millivolt meter pretty much and it's kind of rare that they make these nowadays too so i kind of want to see how the quality is and so forth but it is a dual pointer meter as you can see right there and there's dual channels the outputs are in the back but we're gonna go ahead and turn it around and take a look take an inside peek of it pretty much okay and here you go there's the power switch that pretty much switches the regulation off the board over there that's not where the mains connects to so don't worry about it but yeah they do got a bracket over there and it's held on to a post and stuff like that so it's pretty secure there and you can see the front panel there there's metal shielding around the front so the only thing that's really cut out is for the meter right there and it's also braced too in the back so they did do some improvements over the Unity teardown version of this meter that I have seen there. They're also using a shielded transformer too right there. And then each of the secondary goes to each of the boards and each of the boards are mirrored. But the linear power supply is on this one here. You can see the bridge and you can see the regulators right there. I don't like the fact that that regulator is very close to that capacitor right there. So I just might push that out a little bit so it doesn't heat up. And then you can see there, they're shielding the relay section for the front end right there and stuff like that. And then there's the actual, you know, parts right there for each of the boards. And each of the boards are mirrored to each other because it's a dual channel. So they're both the same boards, just one flipped upside down. That's why it looks different, but they're the same board. And we'll flip it the other way too. You can see behind me because it's a dual pointer. You can see the connections for each of the thing. They are using low capacitive wires to each of the boards right there so that's good we'll go and look at the bnc right there and yes they are using low capacitors wires to the bnc connector right there and too bad i can't see the gain because they actually moved the gain now behind this pcb right there but it looks like it's better quality still doesn't have a stop though so if you turn it over you know for example all the way to the lower range you can easily just go back to the um you know microvolt range pretty much and stuff from 100 volts and that wouldn't be good for the meter if you actually do have high voltage source and stuff i wish they put a actual you know range selector that had a stop on it so it prevents people from doing that accidentally so you got to be careful of course if you're measuring higher voltages and stuff that you don't go into the millivolt ranges and stuff like that because you'll end up blowing it up but at least the switch feels good and looking inside there where i don't know if i can get the camera in there it is metal and stuff like that and looks like it's better built so it's not badly built switch and you know it gives you a nice detent and stuff like that when you're clicking it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that the only real complaint i really have besides the stop is i wish they made this marker go down a little bit more like on this meter here because you can see where the marker is and you can clearly see where it's at but I can easily fix that with sharpening and putting a little line right there so I can see where it's at all the time. But overall, quality's not um that bad and it's really no flex in the frame. They actually moved this and the older versions they had the frame going up here and it was kind of flimsy, but they moved it down here and instead they shielded the parts that need to be shielded, which is the front end side of it. So they did that instead. I'm kind of glad they did that because that gives it a little bit more strength. And you can see the metal is okay enough. And it's not just using, it's actually using proper screws in there too. Machine screws instead of, you know, the self-tappers and stuff like that. So that's good. So they did make a few improvements on it. The BNC, like I said, is right there. And if you wanted to put a better quality one, you could. But this does have a gold-plated center pin one. So they did change that from the older versions as well, I noticed. So pretty good. It's not badly built for a modern piece of gear. Let's go and turn it around so you can see the other side, I guess. And you can see how the board's just flipped upside down right there. But it's the same copy from each other. And then they did wire tied wiring because that was one of the other complaints too. Was the fact that the wiring was a mess back there and I can see they cleaned that up there too. And let's see, I got locking right on that nut right there to keep the transformer from working use. And no, but I can see it does got some indents in there, so it helps keeps it from moving, though. There's the IEC connector there, and they did heat shrink that. And then there's LED. 
They still did lead the leads exposed, but I noticed they put a lot of elastic to keep um, any chance during shipment or anything like that from these leads actually touching the front shielding there. So I guess that's good enough. It'll work. I'm not going to bother with it. There's nothing there where it could actually touch anyway. If you really wanted to, I guess you're picky. You could probably just heat shrink this to keep it from maybe touching this part of the case here. But it's going to sit on the bench and I don't see that moving you know, unless you move it yourself or you drop it or something. But overall, decent build. Not as built as well as the old one. That's going to be the second part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside of the other meter too as well. So you can see the mass difference. Obviously, the older one's going to, you know, be built a lot better. But it's also a more expensive meter and stuff. So, but for the price point and like I said, for the performance... You know something, I can't complain. It's not bad. They did make some improvements. It does seem decently construction. It's using through-hole components, so if anything were to fail, it wouldn't be too hard to replace, where if you got custom ASICs or you got custom parts on there, you know, you might not be able to obtain the parts, and since they really don't make these analog millivolt meters much anymore and stuff like that, you know, years down the road, you may want to service this thing in, Thankfully, it's using off-the-shelf components, and it's through host, so it won't be a problem. So we'll move on to the next part of the video, I guess. So here's an inside look of this meter. The power supply is on the other section. I'll remove that after I get done showing the top section. And here's the meter boards. They're pretty much a mere copy of each other, of course, because the dual channel. And you can see there, one's upside down, the other one. That's why it looks different on the top, but... It's just one's flipped upside down. <laughs> and you can see that they're actually shielding the input cable too as well. So that's nice. They don't do that in the Chinese meter, I'll tell you that much. Because I have actually taken one of those apart. In a matter of fact, I'm going to do one video comparing that Chinese because I decided to go ahead and buy it anyway. So when it comes, I'll tear down both and I'll show you the quality difference. It's kind of laughable actually. But you can see they're even shielding between the two boards right there and then they shield the power supply and stuff there's the meter movement right there and their connections that go to the back of the meter of course your power switch i mean overall it's very nicely built i did download the service manual for it, it does have the original caps but i'm gonna leave well enough alone because the meter does work properly right now i did download the service manual just in case something goes wrong and then once something goes wrong with then maybe I'll go ahead and recap it, but there's no point if it works properly. But there you go. That's an inside look. So I'm going to go and take the bottom cover and I'll show you the power supply section. So here's the underside of the meter. If we go go and show you, and I could completely tear it down because the meter is working. But here's the input stages. They're mirrored from each other. And you can see they even shielded the range selector and completely shielded the power supply. Very nice attention to detail. I will show you the Chinese one once I get in. We'll do a comparison. Vast difference. That's all I gotta say. This is quality built. But I'll compare it to the newer ones that they make nowadays. And you'll see the huge difference in built quality and stuff, of course. But nice attention to detail. So I'm gonna go and get this meter back together, clean it up, and actually start using it pretty much. 